This is my turbocharger jet engine. It uses a T18 A40 turbocharger off a Detroit diesel earth mover or uh, transport truck. It's got a 1.00 AR ratio on the turbine housing and a 0.96 AR ratio on the compressor housing. The oil system uses a 12 volt SureFlow diaphragm pump that pumps oil from this custom made, custom designed oil tank and it sucks it through the pump <clears throat> up this tube into the oil cooler and then it goes from the cooler up here where it branches off into four options. It can either go straight to the gauge I like to run it at about 60 psi or we can recirculate it right back to the tank to regulate the pressure. So by opening this ball valve we can close close off flow back to tank or if we open it we can increase flow back to the tank and that'll regulate the pressure. In order to turn the pump on and off we have a simple on off switch. So if I push this ball valve down you can hear a load increase on the pump and you can see the oil pressure increase. The other place that the oil can go is straight to the turbo which comes from this 3 8 steel line and goes right in to the inlet of the turbo. The turbo has a hydrostatic bearing which means there's a shaft that basically floats on a cushion of oil around two, uh, two bushings. The oil then goes through the turbocharger, lubricates the bearing and cools the shaft itself and exits through the outlet down the three quarter inch hose and back to tank. To light the flame on the jet engine I have a igniter off a turbine jet engine, a Rolls Royce jet engine. This is the igniter right here. It goes inside and it sticks out to about here. That ignites the fuel. In order to power this igniter box, we just run it off 12 volts, the same as the oil pump and the cooling fan. To turn the igniter on and off, we have a simple on off switch, just like the oil pump and the fan. You can hear it clicking away inside the combustor. The real beauty about this turbojet is that it uses the combustor off a Rolls Royce Dart turboprop jet engine. On one of those engines, there's about eight of these combustors, all arranged in a circular pattern. The fuel I'm using for the jet is diesel fuel under 180 psi pressure. The diesel is in the tank and there's a spout tube going from here all the way to the bottom to suck up the fuel. Well, not to suck the fuel, but to have the fuel push through. This is to charge the tank. So you put the air coupler on here and you open the ball valve. Air will, air will enter into the tank and then once you're done, you close it off and take the coupler off. And then to get fuel to the jet, you turn this ball valve open and the pressure in diesel comes through here, through this line, into our filter, <clears throat> and down into a ball valve connected to a lever. This is the throttle. And then it goes into the fuel nozzle. As of right now, there's no cone or afterburner on the jet. We just have it set up right now to get everything steady and fix any leaks that are happening. So we're not really worried about making any power right now. Just trying to get it sustainable and running. In the future though, I hope to put an afterburner on it.